Okay, so gauge has arrived. One day shipping somehow. It's pretty impressive. Um, so I already disassembled it a bit. Zeos is right, holding entirely held together with clips. Look at the kitty. Anyway, um, so I already disassembled it a bit. Um, I'm gonna focus my efforts on trying to understand how these servos work, so I can make a controller for them. So I'm gonna work on trying the side thing first, because I can isolate it from the rest of the board. So right now I'm just trying to sort of pry that apart, and we'll see how that ends up. Okay, as we can see, still up together. Um, I'm just going to resort to plan B, which is involving these, because, I mean, come on, it's eight wires. If I have to put it back together, I can. Fixed. Now, to break these apart and figure out how the heck this servo works, maybe I'll pry it apart for us to see if it's like an encoder or if it's something. I'm going to try and get these clip things. As guessed before by Zeos, he was right, these things seem to, there's pads on the board, actually I don't know if I guessed it or he guessed it, but whatever, um, it's got these little spring terminals on it, and they touch the board, and those two spots, and they clip in, hmm. it looks like, it looks like these things sort of come apart, so I'm going to try and gently persuade it, if not, I'll just, I don't even know. I'll figure it out. <sighs> okay, that was a lot of fighting to get this thing apart. I actually had to drill out these two posts right here to get the damn thing apart. And guess what? It's not a simple DC motor with encoder. It's a very strange stepper motor. So it's a. it looks like a bipolar or a unipolar stepper motor. And it's got these coils, which connect to the respective things in the bottom. And then it's got these ferrite metal pieces that conduct the magnetism from the coils into these rings. And this shaft actually, this whole thing pulls out. Here's the motor itself. Here's the motor itself, and you can see two of them couples to the left and right, and the other. And this shaft actually hovers in the middle magnetically. That black disc that you see at the end of it is a very powerful magnet. And what I'm guessing is I energize each of these coils, the thing will jump. So I'm going to go put this thing back together and uh, hook it up to a stepper driver and see how it works. If I can even make a stepper driver, I'll see. Okay, so I have to make a freaking stepper driver just to test this thing out of uh, transistors and an Arduino, just to see if it works. I'm going to use an, an actual driver chip, the final version. But, uh, yeah, so I've been wiring this. I'll test it shortly. Unfortunately, my little dual H bridge stepper driver isn't going to work because I don't have enough components here. I need an actual stepper driver because this little thingy here is very picky about what powers it because it's German and it's like that. Anyway, um, so I'm just going to work on the lights and getting more pinouts and stuff until stepper drivers arrive, courtesy of Zeos. See ya. Okay, so I figured out the pinout of all uh, this. Got this all separated and figured out. Um, got the coils figured out. Got everything figured out. Uh, yeah. Lights light up and everything. I'll just hook that up in one second. So, um, LEDs work, as you can see. They all light up. I have selective control if I want to. I just have them both hooked up right now. And we can see how the gauge works. If I just put this on top. That's how it lights up. I'm sure if I just turn the lights off.
Yeah, that's definitely glowing. You can see it shines through. Man, it looks like fire optics. 